well aware of the BC father whose daughter, when she was in grade seven, was shown a video by her teachers featuring a transgender character. And she started thinking, I, I also want to cut my hair short. I, I also want to identify as a boy, just like the character in that video. The teachers entertained this. They allowed her to change her name. They allowed her to change her pronouns. They suggested she go get some counseling. And the counselor suggested she go talk to a doctor. The doctor suggested she starts transitioning. All of this happened unbeknownst to this father. So obviously he's royally upset. The courts ended up saying he's not allowed to misgender his daughter. He's not allowed to uh, use the incorrect pronouns. He can't use her so-called dead name. And he's not allowed to talk to the press about any of this. A so-called gag order was placed on this. Now, obviously, with this being insanely tyrannical, he uh, didn't, didn't do any of these things. Ended up spending 69 days in jail for that. And he was also facing a fine of upwards of $30,000. Well, today, ladies and gentlemen, the judge just decided that he has won his case. He won his appeal. All right, guys, we're here with the man who's not supposed to be named after a huge victory. All right, this has been almost five years in the making, all culminating into this final day, this final decision. Tell us, uh, what did the judge determine today? Because this sounds like some huge breaking good news. You know, after a whole lot of spectacular disaster losses over the last five years, we got a, a huge win. We end on a huge win. You know, everything I could have you know hoped for today you know we got from the bc court of appeal here and uh you know time served so the, the six month sentence what's left of it uh i'm exonerated from at this point the thirty thousand dollar fine removed uh so yeah i'm walking out of here with a with a you know to end you know what i would call this long saga with a yeah huge win and i hope parents and uh you know, our, this is important for everybody here because, you know, I think the tide is changing. I, I've said it. I didn't know how it was going to reflect in, in what was going to happen today. And I don't, and I can't say with certainty that was what it was. But, you know, I hope this is, gives it a raise some courage and some hope, right? And uh, definitely encouragement mm -hmm. because this is, uh, you know, this is, this is huge. I mean, compared to where things were, I mean, who would have guessed uh, the political climate uh, to get a win like this? Yeah. Uh, about breaking gag orders and, and publication bans and, and getting the word out. Um, because I think most people didn't even believe that things were this crazy. I mean, it was honestly people, they needed to know the truth. And, and, I'm, and I was sitting on it and I was told I couldn't tell anybody. And, and to me, that was um, unacceptable at, at the time. And, you know, I paid a price. I mean, I did. I, you know, as, as I said, you know, 69 days in jail. Is, and I guess if he's had today, I guess you can say 70. What was that like in the battle? Because you just won in such a huge victory when they had their side stacked. Yeah, there were times, you know, where I was up against, you know, before this became a criminal case, which literally pitted me up directly against the attorney general and the government. I mean, there was 50 lawyers involved on the other side at, at times. It was insane. I mean, I mean, I, I took on everybody that literally had a hand in what happened to my child, literally everybody that played a role. And, uh, and that brought 50. Uh, and, and these aren't just your regular lawyers. I mean, a lot of them are specific trans activist lawyers. I mean, the, the whole uh, hey, mob. I took on the whole mob with, you know, uh, just a couple guys.